I always get excited when I put them in the oven. Just like, I can't wait. Oh, oh, oh what do we have here? Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Oh no, that's not supposed to happen. I wouldn't recommend a hammock for that. Balance of like sweetness. <laughs> He's staring at it. <laughs> He wants to He's eat like, it. TikTok coming in again, hot. Got the apron on. I'm so excited for today because we're gonna be recreating some holiday TikTok recipes that I found on TikTok. So I'm gonna make these recipes spread out through this month because one, I want to enjoy every single one of them and I don't want to have a sugar overload. And two, I just, you know, want to spread out all the sugar. <laughs> all right, so the one we're gonna be doing today is this really yummy looking gingerbread cookie that has Lindor caramel chocolates in the middle and then it's topped with this whipped cream concoction that we're gonna make. It looks divine. I said whipped concoction, it's literally just whipped cream. This TikTok got over 7 million views, so it must be good. Right? So in the TikTok, she uses a frozen gingerbread like dough, but we're just gonna go a little bit of the extra mile here and I'm gonna make my own gingerbread cookie dough because there is nothing like freshly made cookie dough. So the recipe isn't anything too crazy. It's not mine. I'll put it in the description. I'm gonna go ahead, make the dough. It has to chill for three hours. Actually, I'm not sure if it has to chill because I'm not rolling it out. I don't think I'm gonna chill it because we're gonna roll it and we're putting it in little cupcake sheets and then baking it. Let's just try it. That's a lot of butter. Mm. Oh, <laughs> dab it. <laughs> I'm so messy today. What is going on? Off of my baking game. Okay, I'm gonna stand still. I have to wait for my Postmates order for my flour. My delivery came in and we also got a little helper. Whiskey business making cookies with a baby on you. Now we gotta combine the ingredients. Okay, mama's gonna whip this a little and it's gonna get loud. <laughs> this is hard to do with a baby. You smell that? Gingerbread. Okay, since I just mixed the dough, it is so sticky. I'm gonna divide it and we're going to put it in the fridge for a little bit. We're just gonna chill it. Just for a little. Dough is nice and chilled. I only let it chill for an hour. So I just noticed that the recipe called for mini cupcake tins and I don't have one. So we're just gonna make a larger version and I hope it works still. Put the sleeves up. Just spray this first with some coconut oil. So since I don't have to roll out the dough, this is gonna make it so much quicker to make cookies because we're not gonna have to like cut them out, roll them, cut them out, transfer them, all that good stuff. I think I might be able to get more than six. All right, Let's see if this works. Okay, time to prep our Lindor caramel chocolate truffles. <laughs> These are not easy to slice. <laughs> I'm trying to get that perfect slice for my TikTok. Carefully. Yeah, that's the one. We got the shot, everyone. All right, they're ready to put in the oven. Here they are. Let's see if they flatten out. Ooh, in the oven shot. I always get excited when I put them in the oven. Just like, I can't wait. <laughs> They're done. It smells delicious. Oh, I got the husband's attention. Ooh. Something smells good. Ooh. So while they're hot, I got my little shot glass here. With some cellophane or saran wrap. Saran wrap? Cellophane? I don't know, you know what I mean. <laughs> and we're supposed to stamp it. So here, let's go to this camera. We gotta get it in the middle and indent it. So when we, oh, that doesn't look cooked. That doesn't look completely cooked. I think, um, I don't know, maybe I made the mistake of not using the tiny, tiny tins. Cause maybe the balls were too big. I don't know. And now to add the chocolate, I'm gonna put them face down. Look at it melt. Look at it go. I'm excited. Okay, I have to make the whipped cream. Okay, we just have three ingredients. 
heavy whipping cream, sweetener, and flavoring. I got all that. Those look really yummy. I wanna eat one now, but we gotta put the whipped cream. It has to be complete. All right, so one cup of heavy whipping cream, two tablespoons of sugar, and half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Boom. And then we whisk for a minute. Oh yeah, okay. That, that did it. That looks, that looks delicious. Should I let these cool? I don't know. And now for the final touch. Oh, I should probably let the chocolate melt or dry. That looks so cute. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Mario. Yes. Time for a taste test. Oh, ho, ho. what do we have here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So some of the chocolate hasn't dried yet. So uh -huh. just be careful, it'll get messy. This guy. I'm gonna get the small one. <laughs> get this one because it's just dripping out. This is not good for you. Cheers, baby. Cheers. Mmm, this smells so good. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is. <laughs> this is super dangerous. We can't dude. have this in the house. <laughs> this is dangerous, dude. <laughs> wow, TikTok. No wonder why it has 7 million views. Wowzers. This is like a cookie on another level. It's very rich. I think if they were smaller, they'd be perfect. Yeah, bite size. So much flavor. <laughs> Homemade. God. Everything. Damn, girl. <laughs> you are hitting this out of the park. <laughs> you know what? <clears throat> I love the holidays. <laughs> Me too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the next recipe that I found looks so delicious. It is a gingerbread streusel muffin. I don't think I've ever made muffins. I love muffins. Don't tell anyone this, but I think I actually prefer muffins over cupcakes. There goes my whole branding. <laughs> so this one, I found the recipe in the comments, but it wasn't absolutely 100% clear. Uh, so we're just gonna try our best. I have to try to do this as quickly as I can because Leo's asleep right now. I think the gingerbread smell of cookies is like one of my favorites. Top, S tier. Set this bad boy aside. Okay, then she does the butter, the molasses, the sugar, yogurt, eggs, and milk and whisks it and then we add it and we mix it. And then she just whisks everything together. And then she just combines the ingredients. So I'm just gonna use small bowl into big bowl. <gasps> the baby's awake. Good thing I got all the mixing done. I just need to put this in the molds and I need to make the streusel. Here is our mixture. It kind of looks like a different color from her. I'm gonna put a little bit in at a time. I don't have a cute little scooper, so we're just gonna have to do it the old school way. So she doesn't show how to make the screw soles, and I've never made this before, so we're just gonna wing it. See how it goes. Oop. Four tablespoons of melted butter. I'm just gonna. See what happens here. Pouring that in, and I'm assuming you just mix it and it gets clumpy. Oh, it's actually forming nicely. And you're just supposed to sprinkle it on top before you bake it. And then we're just gonna sprinkle it on our muffins. Just like that. Oh, I'm excited for this. I always love when muffins have this on top. I didn't know it was called streusel and I never knew how to do it. So TikTok coming in again, hot. I found three different recipes online that said three different things. Uh, one of them I found was 350 for 13 to 18 and another one was 375 from 15 to 20. So we're gonna stick to 350 and I'm just gonna do it maybe for like 16 minutes and then we'll see where we're at with them. I'll keep an eye on them. Okay, the house smells so good. I'm so excited to try these. Now we gotta make the like icing that goes on top and all it is is powdered sugar. She used a cup of powdered sugar and then some eggnog until you get like a thick consistency. So let's try it out. Ooh, that's a good, 
consistency. It's literally pure sugar. <laughs> Instead of pouring it over, I'm just gonna use a spoon. Just to... Ooh, it looks so good. Guys, these look bomb. I hope they taste as good as they look. These look delicious. <laughs> We could share, we'll take a bite. Yeah. Okay. Okay, mom goes uh -huh. first. Because she. First? Yeah. Okay. She made them. Mm. Whoa. Mm. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Mm -hmm. How are we going to lose weight? Oh no, baby, you made the calendar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna make one for January that's a detox. Yeah, that is so good. What do you think of the actual muffin? It's good. Uh, it's not it could gingerbread be. ready like the other one. Like the spices. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was not like ginger. Yeah, they don't punch through like how the other one did. The other one was, I mean, it, I felt like we got used to it towards the end. Yeah. They're pretty good. I would say the dough is a little dense. The, the actual muffin, like I want it to be fluffier. Mm. The streusel and the topping, sugar. Mm -hmm. Sugar and butter, it's good. I would give it an eight, I'd maybe a seven and a half. I would give it an eight. Seven and a half, eight. Yeah, it, I think it, it is dense. If yeah. it was a little fluffier, it's man, still good though. It would be a 10, but it's mm. still, yeah, it's still delicious. Okay, this last recipe was a special request by Hubby Red. He saw one on my TikTok. This is a gingerbread cheesecake filled cookie. I don't think I've ever made a filled cookie before, so this is gonna be a first for me. Here's how it looks. The recipe is from In Bloom Bakery. I'll put it in the description, but these look so delicious. They have like, sugar coated on top of them. I'm really excited to try these. So let's go ahead and get started. It seems like a pretty simple recipe. So I'm gonna start with the cheesecake filling because we have to put it in the freezer and freeze it before we put it in the cookies. Oh my gosh, I literally have the exact amount. <laughs> Six ounces. We're gonna do three tablespoons of sugar. Half a teaspoon of vanilla. Miss Amaya, always when I'm doing something. That's why he's here. <laughs> Gotta get the angles, you know? So two minutes. They said to do this cold. I should have, I shouldn't have done that. Oh no, that's not supposed to happen. No, oh no, I didn't even know this could come off. Wait, okay, let's just pretend like that didn't happen. Okay, let's try this again. I should use a deeper bowl for this. Yep, yep, nope. Gotta get a different bowl. What am I? I've never baked before in my life. Seriously? Like, cold? This is really hard to mix cold. I wouldn't recommend a hand mixer for that. Like, that was messy. So then I'm supposed to separate these. I'm supposed to make 18 of them and separate them into little uh, two tablespoon balls and put them in the freezer. I'm using a cute spoon. One of my favorites. Little palm tree at the top. I'm just gonna say this is two teaspoons. Okay, I gotta get approval from hubby on the filling. I love this one. Mmm. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Literally cream cheese, sugar, sugar, and vanilla. Really? Yeah. That's all I need. That's all you need. Okay, so I put those in the freezer. Now I'm gonna work on the sugar portion. That's gonna be the coating. And I think we're just doing a bunch of sugar. I think it's six tablespoons and then a lot of spices. So like gingerbread kind of spices. Oof, I can smell, ooh, it's bothering my nose. Oof, getting up there. Okay, so I got a new KitchenAid mixer. It's been 10 years and I finally get to debut her in a video. She's excited. She's a little shy. Her name is Pearl. Yes, I named her. Let's get Pearl out here. Here she is. Scoot your booty. Pearl. Scoot. She's a big girl. She's girthy. We gotta put this and a three fourth cup of brown sugar until it's nice and fluffy. Let's give Pearl a whirl. That's a new thing. All right, Pearl. Show us what you got. Smooth. 
Okay, I love this mixer. Just the sound it makes. Like, my last one felt like it was on its last leg. Now for the two egg yolks at room temperature. Pearl, you're up, girl. Gotta mix for about a minute. All right, now we just slowly add the dry ingredients to this guy and we should have our dough. I need to get two tablespoons of dough, roll into a ball, and flatten it. Fill with the cream cheese, continue rolling it into a ball, and then cover that in the sugar. And I can only bake six cookies at a time, so it's gonna take it's gonna be a long recipe. Rolling it to a dough, flattening it out. It's kind of like making a pupusa, but they're cookies. Frozen cream cheese, and then close it in. Oh my gosh, if this works, this is gonna be so good. And I don't see why it shouldn't work. All right, I got one. I'm gonna just set it here, prepare the other ones. All right, so I got six, because I can only do six at a time. So gotta roll it in this bad boy. I feel like I should get a spoon and like, bathe it. Yeah, this is gonna be good. I have a good feeling about this. Okay, the house smells so good. I'm so excited to try these. We got Hubby in here. Oh Leo. man, these look delicious. Little camera shy. They don't look as flat as the TikTok. They kind of look like little, little lumpy. Yeah. <laughs> but let's see. Ooh. Oh, okay, that was a horrible split right here. Okay. I can buy that one. Ready? Yeah. Go. Whoa. I probably could have baked them a little longer. But man, the flavor is. Yeah, this combo. So delicious. <laughs> really good. You want to try something else? Awesome. He's like, hey, you're leaving me out. What's up with that? You'll try it in mommy's milk yeah. later. What would you rate this rate, this uh, recipe? Actually, I would say an eight and a half. I was going to say a nine. Pretty high. Because yeah. they're not like super sweet. No. And they're not too gingerbready. Mm -mm. And the cream cheese in the middle. Yeah. Oh my God, these are so delicious. Well, I think I, I need these. to make this like a, a yearly thing because TikTok coming through mm -hmm. on the recipes. Mm -hmm. If I had to choose a favorite from all three, chocolate. I like these the best. I, I was gonna say these. Cause the other gingerbread cookies were really good, but they were too rich. Yeah, too gingerbready. That was a gingerbread cookie recipe. Yeah, these are just perfect. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. the cream cheese inside, it's like a good like balance of like sweetness. <laughs> He's staring at it. <laughs> he wants to He's eat like, it. Dad, Dad, get that. I gotta make you some cookie, Tom. Yeah. Okay. All right. Great job, babe. This was this was a great idea. This was fun. Yeah, this was awesome. Thanks for putting this together. Yeah, I hope you I all enjoyed it. watching as well. Try out any of the recipes. I'll link um all of them down below. Mm -hmm. Um, and then make sure to follow the actual original recipe creators because these are not my recipes. But all right, we'll see you guys later. <laughs> Bye. See you guys. <laughs>